Okay, today we're going to do a couple different things here. I'm going to take you through how to read a chart. This is um, this chart here is from the fantastic, incredible Groove Essentials by Tommy Igo. You should buy this book if you're a student. If you're a student of mine and you already have this book already, then go out and get it. Support Tommy. Go to his website, TommyIgo.com. Go to uh, Hudson Music. Go to VicFirth.com. Find this book buy it. It is amazing. Um, there's also uh, Group Essentials Point 2, or sorry, Group Essentials 2.0. Um, find it, buy it, it's worth it, trust me. Okay, very quickly, going through a, a chart, complex chart here. I'm going to talk about um, how to do this, how to go through it. First off, where to look in the very beginning. Time signature, um, it'll tell you what kind of style is up here. You even get a tempo marking sometimes. Your quarter note equals this tempo, for example. This tells you to not play for eight bars. The dynamic markings are below the staff. As you can see, that's a P for piano. Um, and the composer's instructions will be to you, kind of in a shorthand, or they'll be above the, the, the staff here. So this says the band is in right here after this first eight bars, uh, and you're to ad lib on the cymbals, but generally lay out for uh, eight, another eight bars to the A section, then 16 bars more of laying out. The sax melody will um, be heard here. Continue to ad lib on the cymbals, no problem. 14 bars, don't play. Little uh, glasses there means heads up, something is coming that's important. Look at that, change in time signatures. So. This time signature means there's six eighth notes in the bar. This one means there's four quarter notes in the bar. Some slash, nota slash notation. This just means you're free to play. It assumes that you know what a shuffle means. But uh, most notably, the dotted eighth equals a quarter note now. Um, solo. So you're to, you're to solo here. Here's a dynamic instruction right here. It's a crescendo, so you're getting louder to a forte. Uh, and you got to hit this shot on uh, the let of four. Or because this is swinging, this would be the, the and of four. But one thing you need to know about reading um, charts that have a swing feel in it is that uh, your eighth notes, just a sec here, your eighth notes, it's better if I explain it like this. And hard to do that with your left hand. Bear with me, bear with me. Bang. Bang. Voila. So, your eights are swung. So, where that, if this was straight, it would be one and two and three. And in music that swings, this becomes one and two and three and four. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. That's what this means right here. One triplet. Okay, little diversion. Back on track. Where were we? Right here. We were getting louder into a B section. That's a, the sign, el signo. We're going to be coming back to this thing, but just note it. Uh, we're in a forte. We're in a halftime shuffle now. All right. Note these little accents here. Got to play this little accent in a very particular way. Um, there's nothing superfluous in a chart like this. This is an, a purposefully underwritten chart, which means there's not a lot of excess information in here. But you should know, if you don't know, what this little accent means compared to, say, that little accent. They have different names, and I don't know what they are, frankly, but go and find out. Uh, okay, so, repeat the previous bar. There's that shot on the letter four again. I think that means similarly, like just continue on. Play five more bars. Got a fill, got a shot. There's a, there's a shot on the trip of three, and then four, and then the let of four. All right, different accents here. Play, another shot, repeat, previous bar, repeat, previous bar, repeat. Ooh, into the coda. Excellent, got some whole notes. In here, decrescendo, sense a different section coming on. It's telling me to keep my eyes open. Bam! Six eight. Different time signature. The quarter note now is a dotted eighth note. Ad lib, do what you want. Play eight bars. 
We're into mezzo piano. Okay, that's moderately quiet. Crescendo after the eight bars to a C section. Ooh, that's disgusting. Mezzo forte, moderately loud. Okay, we're grooving. We're playing 16 bars. There's a piano solo happening. Now another 14 bars. Heads up, guys. We're into 4-4. Four, four. The dotted eighth now equals a quarter note. We've got a ensemble figure here. The whole band's gonna hit this shot gradually. Get louder. One, two, three, trip, four, trip, and at 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 bang. So that's one, two, three, trip, four, trip. Let one, let two, let three, let four, bang like that. Uh, getting louder into a forte D section. Uh, sax continues. We're in the halftime shuffle. Shot on the lead of four. Cool. Play six more. Uh, some more ensemble figures here. Do -do 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 -do. Play three bars. Now, do what you want here. Hit that shot. First ending. Okay, beautiful. So we're going to be coming back to this section right here because that's a forward. Oops, sorry. Forward repeat bar. So we're going to come back to that. First ending, how long is this guy? One, two, got all these shots that we've got to hit. Still in the first ending, three, four bars. There's the backwards repeat bar. We go back to D, do, 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 play six. So there's eight, one plus six. Another one that's eight, play three, and another one that's four. We've already done the first ending, so we go to the second ending, bang. Here it is, second ending. Now what's up? Keep on going. Straight into the E section. Okay, now what's going on? Forward repeat bar, we got uh, four times through this section. All right, so we go through it four times. We've got a solo. Hit that shot and then into a three, four coming up. Three, four. So this is the F section. Uh, the dot or the eighth note triplet equals a 16th note. We're in a three, four time signature. That's three quarter notes in the bar. We're uh, still soloing. Ah, the bass is going to play this figure right here. So that's one trip, let two, e and a three, e and a, like that, and that just repeats. So it's a cool little four bar section that repeats six times. See that? We're soloing. We come out of that, still in three four, switch to four four. So <laughs> the uh, 16th note becomes the uh, eighth note triplet. Four, four, hit that sucker. Ooh, look at that. DS L coda. Okay, so you go to the sign and then you go to the coda. So that means you gotta go all the way back to the sign. Bang, the B section. Till we find the coda section, or the coda sign, rather. So you play all this, do 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 five bars. Uh-huh, 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 all this, yep, 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 yep. Bang, there's the coda. The coda means tail in Latin, I believe, so you gotta find this tail end of the of the song. Here it is. Double forte, so fortissimo, it's loud. Uh, fill it up, so you hit these accents, fill it up, keep the band together. All right, yep, getting quieter. Oh, heads up. We're into 6 eight, so the quarter equals a dotted eight. Ad lib to the end. Do what you want. Getting quieter at the end of this seven bar section right here. Another seven bars, and this guy. One and two and three and four and five and six and. Double bar at the end, fine, that's the end, and that's a fermata, which means you hold this note. Whew, okay. Read and chart. Tommy Igo put this book together. This is the Groove Essentials. Uh, extremely famous, extremely awesome um, package. Get DVDs with it. Um, actually, no, the DVD is separate, but uh, go for it. Check it out. Have fun.